Day to viewers, the Colonel speaking to you live from the Lay Rectory, home of the Squire, for British Imperial YouTube Broadcasting, and Squire's with us, and good afternoon, Squire. Good afternoon. How are you? All very well, thank you, hopefully. You've got some interesting catalogues and ephemera to show us. Well, I thought we'd do... We've already done one about two of the main catalogues, but I have got others as well, right. which I think you, people might be interested to see. There's this one, the Runwell Cycle Company, Birmingham. Birmingham. And let's not forget, a lot of cycle companies sold gramophones. Oh, there you go, that's the, what they sold. Yes. Retails at three guineas, four guineas. It's what's uh, generally known in the trade these days as Swissies. Yeah, that's right. 1913. Oh, there we go, look. Nice little kit there. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. No, I haven't. Designed for children. Needles. Oh, look, 1913. They were still doing those. I've seen th 1930s catalogues with those uh, disc-talking machine needles in. Scala Records, 12 shillings a dozen. Polyphon, 11 and 6 a dozen. Canarian cylinder record. Yeah. Oh yes. Exact sound box. Yeah, that's a Swiss one. Torches. Well, there you are. Very useful if you're on a bike. I think how old that is. That's sort of pre just pre First World War. Yes, indeed. Yes. Toy magazine pistol will fire about twenty peas. <laughs> alarm clocks that look mysteriously Victorian. Oh gosh, look at that one. Huge bell on top of it. Vice's Mandola mouth organ. Ladies wristlet watches. Now people say that wristwatches were invented during the Great War. Well this is nineteen thirteen. Yeah. So they weren't. Yeah. They, no. they they predate them. Yeah. How interesting. What's that called? Mincer. A mincer. That's a mincer, yeah. yeah but they're so called in food choppers. Yeah, that's, that's a mincing machine, yes. Yes, yes I mean people yeah. using them. The next one I've got is a 1927 Imperial Records catalogue with a Good nice, Lord, that's nice, nice isn't cover. It? Imperial on the cover. Yeah, it was just general. Imperial Records. Imperial Records. Two bob each. Another leaflets, various things in there. And then there's this one, junk shop. Junk that shop must be rare. This, is, this was, I think, made just after the war, and it's what stuff could be found in. In 1945, yes. Yeah, just after Brian the war. Brian Rust was involved. Yes. Right? Yeah. And then you've got the sort of, um, let's have a look. Sort of stuff to look out for. Notes yes, on recordings. Yeah, that's, right, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guardsmen's, Curry's, Homocords, Grafton's, Leverphones and Scala's. Yes. Yes, Aco's, Actuality, the things to look out for, I suppose. Yes, yeah, with the, with the list of pseudonyms. Ah, right. And the actual names. An orchestra, yes, a Lido Venice's Jeep. Yeah. See, Max Terror Orchestra, California Ramblers. Yeah, four instrumental stars, Joe Venusi and oh. the rest of them. Ukulele Ike is Cliff Edwards. And these are good, these aerial dance orchestra ah, records. Yes. Look at all this lot down here. Goofus Orchestra, Dorsey Brothers, Trombauer, Casa Loma, Smith yeah. Ballou. Because mm. that's that sort of, uh, that's that uh, aerial 4000 series which they do yes. a lot of things on there like that which are well worth, well worth, in fact, well worth looking out for. Are they American pressing recordings? Right? Yes, I think yeah. so. Yeah. Bell Toner ones worth looking out for. Coliseum. Coliseum's Brunswick's, yes. In the days when there was very little information about these records. I Columbia, they, I mean, that's fair. The Columbia bands are fairly well documented now. Hannon Dance Band. You know, they they either were Hannon Dance Band or... Um, and Knickerbocker Orchestra, yes, they're saying, but that's... Uh, yeah. Because the thing is, they use, it seems to be varied. You tend to find it English... Bands like Stan Greening normally on has Hannon dance bands, but yes. then they they did they did use interchange them quite a lot. Yes, Curry's jazz. Curry's Castle Jazz Band. Decker. Dominion. Dominion. Duophone, the way back. Ah, now the, the now the thing is the Duophones. Are, that's the four thousand series, mm. and they are interesting because they they're all. Normally, Warbash Dance Orchestra, yes. or Waybash Dance, and they have the, that shows who they are. Mm. Uh, nickels, Red Nickels, Red With Nickels Miff again. Mole and people like that? Yeah. That sounds if I'm expert in Dorsey years, Brothers. but not. Mm. Filmophone. Oh, yes, Al Dollar's Ten Cents is Cap Calloway. Yes, we know that. Yeah. 
Grafton's, yes. Guardsmen. Yes. Tennessee Tutors, of course, those are very, I think they're Vocalians, aren't they? Yes. Tennessee Tutors. Yes, they were originally, I'm sure. Yeah. Amazing. The Windsor Orchestra, yes, I've got some of those, some really good jazzy records. Mm. Then you go through the various labels, then mm. you've got Homacord, look, the oh, ones yes. that. OMS, I wonder what that is. OMS. OM5. Original Memphis. Oh, line. yes, ah, of course. Yes, of course, Original Memphis. Line. Imperial, because there were a lot of American stuff mm. on Imperial. Leverphone. Mayfair. Mayfair. Yeah. I think, if I'm not mistaken, Mayfair were made for. They was, I think you got them from a catalogue. I think it was Mayfair Cigarettes. Right, but ah, I may yes. be wrong. But then again, they drew them from all, all, sorts, all sorts of yes, places. Exactly. Yes, exactly. Panacor. Original Memphis Five again. Mm. But they would have been Decca Panacor, wouldn't yeah, they? Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Parlophone? Yes, yeah, the label, la label to be reckoned with. Of all the mm. Those are all Parlophones there. Perfect. Regal. Mm. Amazing. See, that's an interesting story in itself. Regal Novelty Orchestra, Coon Sanders Orchestra. No, Coon, no, Coon <laughs> Sanders used to record for Victor, so how that got on, on uh, Regal, I'm not quite sure. Corona Dance Orchestra, all mm. the ones California around us. Mm. Rex. Oh, yes. Benny Goodman's Orchestra. Hollywood Dance Orchestra. Mm. Mm. Corona da Regal, back to mm. Regal, Corona Dance Orchestra. Winner. Yes, there's a lot of interesting stuff on Winner. Yes. Some of the, some of the, they are some Which of the pictures. Yeah. Fats Waller, Jack Teagarden, Nick Miff Mole and Red Nickel. Mm. How interesting. Yeah, what about that then? That's fantastic leaflet. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. This is a 19th, so this is a 30th one of Echo Radios. Mm. Another radio leaflet, the latest mm, model. Yes. Very Art Deco. Mm. Mm. Deco Echoes. Echo battery eliminator. That's the, <laughs> that's the way you can um, run your battery set off the mains. Right, expensive too. Well, this mm. was expensive. Ele HMV electrogram. Right. That's post-war, not in the mm. best of condition. The cath this catalogue. We have this picture. Oh yes, very nice, very deluxe illustration. Oh golly, yes. Oh yes, look at that it's colour pictures. Mm, mm, mm. Must have cost a fortune that thing. I think doctors and solicitors and politicians oh, bought. Yeah. Oh, goodness me, yes. And then, of course, we've got television. Build your own televisions. Good Lord. Yeah, long wave premier radio. Premier radio. What date it? is that? Um, probably just after. I would get. I'm not sure. Just after the war, looks like. Looks like it. They look like EF 50 valves there, so mm. that's probably post war. Yeah, fifties were sort of a radar. The oh, used right. for radar. Where it transformed, I think it transformed it. So there's mm. the circuit diagrams. Good lord. List of components. And we've got uh, some suggestions for cabinets. Oh yes, I remember my father saying he knew people who built televisions into sort of old. Um, sort of um, apple boxes and things. Oh, anything, yeah. They Every found anything. Television aerials. That's that one. Got two or three of those, so mm. they're not particularly, perhaps all very same -ish. And of course HMV was also used for domestic appliances as well oh, as... Oh, yes. As well as um, gramophones. So an here. iron, HMV iron. You can't play too many records on those. Oh, there you are. There's some or of the... Or a toaster. Some of the ap appliances. Oh, you see the heaters quite often. Yes, yes, yes yeah. And the coffee pots. Mm. But that's that's sort of thing. 
Hair dryer. <laughs> Toasters. Irons. Yes, amazing. I think they sort of um, branched out. I don't think they were terribly successful, I don't know. Pilot television and radio brochure. Let's see what we got here. What's that? Pilot dealer's check card for adjusting your tele oh. television receiver. Cushy, this is what people don't forget. I mean, you just people mm. go into a shop today and just buy a television, plug it in, and press a few buttons on a remote control. Yes, and it sets itself. In these mm. days, you had to set the television, set every television mm. up individually. Yes, and that's what a television was like. Valves, Incredible. big cathode ray tube, mm. and it all had to be be set up. There we are. There's some of the 1950s yeah, televisions. 62 guineas, 84 guineas. Well, you could be, you could stick at least two. You could almost stick stick a naught or a mm. naught on the end of that, if not two noughts mm. in some places. Dear 99 guineas. That's 99 pounds, 99 shillings. You have to exactly, remember. Exactly. Yes. So yes. it's well over 100. Well over well mm. over 100 pounds. Mm. It'd be it'd be like something. I suppose it would all. I suppose with the inflation over the years, you'd be talking almost a thousand pounds, maybe even more. Well, considering what people earned at the time, yeah, I know. probably much more than that. Or radios, various sorts. Mm. This is all pilot, pilot radio. Oh, there we go. And that's that one. And then this is a radio magazine. Oh, yes, 29. 19, 1929, Radio Owners Magazine. Mm. Not a lot of A lot of Mallard Organola receiver. How making your own, making radio. your own radio. Well, thing is, you in those days, buying stuff buying stuff was so expensive. You did you, you did you make bought the components did. when you could afford them. Exactly, and, built and then them made, a, made a radio anything. up. There's a sort of layout diagram mm. for laying out a basic chassis layout. Mm. Metal screening boxes. Another another radio mm. chassis. And there we are, radiogram. it's an electric, electric radiogram look. Dear, oh dear. There you are. How the Orgola radio gramophone. There's a spring version there. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's right, it is. Yeah, that's right. Yep. So probably battery operated. Yeah, absolutely. Spring. Yes, that's right. Spring dear turntable. Dear. Oh yeah, there's the battery yeah. set. Yeah. There's that one. Mm. And if you go, where are we? Yes. Mallard Master Radio. Mm. This is another. This is another radio components catalogue. So mm. I won't show too much of this because no. it'll probably be a bit boring for people, but. There you are, a few of the pictures in there. Transformers. All the bits and gubbins you need, or needed. See, that's a story in mm -hmm. itself, the old aerial switch. Oh, yes. See, years ago, people would have a radio, a radio aerial going all down their garden. Yes. Well, the thing you had to be careful of with those was lightning. Yes. So you had a switch like that, <coughs> and what you did... You'd sort of you'd have it mounted on the wall near the aerial, mm. and that would be the perhaps the aerial connected in the middle, mm. and you connect probably wire it to go there to switch onto the set, or you swung it down that way. It was a nice switch, and it went to earth. So it isolated. So it isolated. Because yes, yes. 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 otherwise, if it was hit by lightning, it would blow the set up. Mm -hmm. well, that was the theory at the time. I mean, I expect people don't bother these days. I yeah, remember a time when a thunderstorm started, everybody ran round unplugging everything. Well, covering up mirrors, as I recall, yeah, as well. Yeah, exactly. a strange superstition. Yeah. yeah I so, yeah, it. that's mm. another, ca you know, that's another parts catalogue. Mm. This is a Goward radio, uh, this is a Goward uh, leaflet mm. of, of turntables and bits and pieces. Various motors. I'm going to unfold it carefully, just a little bit fragile. There we are. Oh, yes. There we are, it's another sort of 1930s, mm. 1930s, uh, there you are, there's the motor plates with the spring yes, motor Yes, indeed, underneath. spring motors and electric motors. That's why you often find motor plates with lots of apparently redundant mm. holes, but they're not, they were just designed for different types of motors. So that's another one, you see, if you look on the other side Pre -drilled. of it. 
Garrard electric motors. Mm, Garrard spring lubricants and oils. And if we go on the other side, you've got all the spring motors. Mm. Oh, there's a picture of the number 21 spring motor. Yes. I've never seen that one. No, I haven't. I've obviously, number 20, if you fall over. Mm. In fact, I'm, I haven't had it delivered yet. I'm expecting a motor to come dropping on my doorstep soon, which mm. is a which is said to be a number 24 motor right and is modified for three speed use how amazing so I'm interested to have a look at that one that's interesting see how that works that's another thing I don't know mm. another ultra ultra radio catalog mm. here nice sort of semi-coloured photographs of the sets I had yes. one of those a long time ago right. many long, long time ago you don't see things like that around anymore there used to be a time at the NEC and that you mm. see stacks mm. of wooden radios mm. I remember repairing one of those for mm. some, trying to get one working for one of those. They've got ultra radiograms on mm. the other side and loads, cabinet loud speakers. But Michael Radio, mm. there again, interest, interesting, yes, selection, all different. interesting selection of stuff. There you go, you've got one of those. I have, yes, indeed. Yes, I have. Working order, I think, isn't it? I think. Yes. Lightweight, portable, gone. Mm. You see, you're talking about mid-30s, yet that looks like a, a late 20s, a late yes. 20s portable. Yeah. I suppose people got used to yeah, what they, they looked did. like. I mean, that's even more like a yes. late 20s portable, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. These big dial in the lid, look. Mm -hmm. Master's voice, voice radio, another one. It's all getting very, very fragile now. I'm going to be careful with them. Mm, all the different types of those. That's 1937, Lord. 38 range. You see? Yes. Some look look like bureaus, and some. Oh yeah, well, there you are. You see, there's there is the bureau the sides, one yes. there, and that's one like a sort of coffee table yes. armchair console. Yes, it is. Well, it's got a bookcase built in, and mm, you know, mm, put your mm. tray of tea on top. Then you've got this whacking great thing. I've never seen no. one of these. A model. I've never seen the 800 the or the 801. Mm. They 80 guineas. No, oh, God, no. frightening amount of money. Oh, called a country street. cottage for that. I would have thought. <laughs> well, the only thing I've got over there, which we must uncover one day and show people, is that big Marconi phone. Ah, yes. Which is a Queen Anne style cabinet. Yes. And that's about 1936. Mm. And um, and we just got a fairly straightforward Brunswick record, Brunswick record, record ca catalog. catalog. Oh, interesting. Well, thanks very much for showing us all that. No problem. That's okay. Something very interesting just stuff. Just a little bit different, I thought. Oh, very much so. Very much so. Well, thank you very much indeed. No problem at all. Thanks, viewers. Take care, then. Goodbye. Bye-bye.